Well, good morning, my darlings. This is about the 17th time I've tried to start this vlog today, but it has been, how do you describe this morning, Lilla? Hectic. Hectic. Interesting. Fun, emotional. We've <laughs> yeah, laughed. Oh, we've cried. Very emotional. Oh my goodness. So let me fill you in. Obviously, Lilla and I are in London today. We've had a very exciting morning because we have been at the Jordana Cobella salon uh, shooting something very exciting in the salon. And the reason why I in particular and Lala has been crying is because what we shot in the salon was my last, I don't want to use the word ever, last shoot with wonderful Kat. Kat and her baby boy Wolfie and Roland, Kat's boyfriend, are moving to Australia next week. <laughs> I could cry saying it right now. So Kat and I have worked together for 10 years. My first ever lookbook here on YouTube was shot by Kat. We've really developed such a way of working together, such a style of working together. So I'm gonna miss her so, so, so much. Um, and Lala came along because Wolfie joined us, Kat's little two-year-old joined us on the shoot today. How did you find looking after the Wolfie? Hello. Show everyone your book. <laughs> I did let Lala know that Wolfie is quite a lively one, so Lala came prepared. Oh my goodness, that is so cute. Was that one of my books or was that for the nephews? This is, well, this is for my grandson, so your nephew. Oh, it's a little bunny rabbit, a very active bunny rabbit. Um, don't worry, so Lala was entertaining Wolf with the book while we... Um, oh, you got your finger, the bunny's in the way. Aha, uh -huh, so clever, simple things. But simple he, things. He, his attention span was quite good actually with this oh. book, so yeah, he did Yeah, we kept it. looking over our shoulder and he was yeah, very entertained yeah, by it. He was giggling away. Very entertained. It's, it's a funny little thing, isn't it? But it's such a sweetheart. Yes, yeah. it's probably very confusing for little children. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> so I had a treatment in the salon. What Giordano was saying is that when you live in an old house and if you come to London slash anywhere, you can, especially blonde hair is very porous and you can get a lot of, um, a lot of, what's the word, pollution in your hair and also pipes in old houses can often contain minerals which dull blonde hair and I had been saying that I was desperate to get my hair coloured because I felt that my blonde was just looking very dull and very, you know, it looked a little bit lacklustre and that's nothing to do with the way that it was coloured, it just over time, since the colour appointment started to get quite dull. You might be thinking, Josie, it looks really bright and fresh right now, and that is because of the treatment. It basically was a super mm. detoxing cleanse, and doesn't it look so much it does. so different? It's really shiny as well. Isn't really it? shiny. Such a great treatment. So I'm yeah. definitely going to book myself in for more of those in between salon visits. So it was a Weller salon, and this is a Weller salon um, detoxifying and shine enhancing treatment. I think Kat actually managed to get some lovely shots of the treatment in in progress. In progress, <laughs> so I shall insert those now. Lala and I headed to Harrods. We had a little look at the Dior wrap, which is absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, I wasn't allowed in because I forgot that you're not allowed to take suitcases into Harrods. Whoops, Daisy. My goodness, they were not kidding when they said that Dior have taken over Harrods. We thought we would come and check it out. It is like a giant gingerbread themed, uh, is it like a German, um, I don't know what the name of the bread is, but that kind of festive snack. The big Dior star in the middle. I did have a reservation for breakfast in the Dior Cafe this morning, but unfortunately did not get into London in time for that. But, oh my gosh, it looks absolutely spectacular. This is my Dior bag's first outing in London, so it seems only appropriate that we go and take a look. So every window has a different theme. This is one of their homeware windows. They've got, my goodness, there has been a lot of team effort going on here. These beautiful plates, which they've recreated in gingerbread. Gingerbread chair. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's an entire gingerbread table. 
gingerbread treasure chests with the Dior perfume coming out, a giant frosted version. And the sea treasure chest. Oh! Haha! Beautiful. A very clever way of presenting the Dior lipsticks. Hanging from the balloons. Fragrances. We've hopped across the road to Elan and they have got their festive treats here now too. Little pink Christmas trees, green Santa sleighs. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Pink gingerbread men. And look at those wreaths. If that is a pistachio cake, I'm going to have to get one. Oh my gosh. And now we are in a taxi on the road. We have both got our Elan cafes. What did you get, Ella? I got a lovely uh, milk hot chocolate. Milk hot chocolate? Hot chocolate. Milk, milk chocolate, hot chocolate. As opposed to what kind of hot chocolate? Dark chocolate. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, <laughs> lovely. And I have got my Lucky Charm oat milk latte. Lala's actually heading back home now. I am heading to dry by to meet the girls from Elizabeth Arden. And then tonight is the Victor and Rolf Christmas dinner. So a very, Ooh. very exciting day. Great. I wish we could have had more time to do some like festivities in London, but I think we'll have well, to do that during Vlogmas, won't yeah, we? Yes, I think so. Yes, definitely. But it's been a great day so far. I will hopefully try and show you proper outfit of the day a bit later, but I want to show you my gorgeous jewelry because when this video goes live, you will be able to access the Missima Black Friday sale, which I know is one that everyone looks forward to. It is one of the biggest and best sales of Cyber Week. Oops, I have got some of my Missima favorites on now. I actually gave Kat a lovely Missima necklace as a little memento to match her favorite pair of earrings um, before we say goodbye. But they have got 30% off sidewide, which is spectacular. You've got some nice Missima pieces, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. pearl earrings, you've got a lovely pearl necklace. Drop. Gorgeous. Yes. Oh my gosh, how funny. I did not even tell Lila that I was going to be mentioning the Missima sale and she's got her Missima pearl necklace on. Yes, I Perfect! That is so perfect! I've got my lovely hoop earrings in which is such a favourite because they have got little brown dots, white dots and black dots, they go with everything. Um, I have done a little necklace cluster with my favourite, it's almost like um, like an antique looking pendant. In fact the necklace you're wearing, the pearl drop, would be a nice addition yeah, to this cluster as well. Oh, it would. And then you can't see but the hand I'm holding at the camera, let me do a little switcheroo. I've got one of my favourite rings, kind of matches the necklace and the claw bracelet from some of my favorite Missima collaborations they've done throughout the year. Um, but I'm gonna leave a little edit of my favorites down below. And yeah, it's 30% off, which is absolutely That'd incredible. Nice. It really is. If you've got anything on your Christmas gift wish list, then um, now's the time to shop. But I'll show you a few, of my, few more of my favorites when we're at home tomorrow. But for now, um, gosh, it feels like we've just done a big circle. <laughs> Traffic in London is quite crazy, but anyway, I'm going to enjoy my oat milk Lucky Charm latte and I'll catch up with you later. other people in this loo or not so this could be very embarrassing but I have just snuck in to the beautiful Langham Hotel to get into my dress for the evening. This is the lovely Victor and Rolf tool dress of dreams that I'm borrowing just for tonight. Heading there for dinner now. I'm just going to hop in the car with Freddie up to One Marlebone which is such a gorgeous venue. Um, oh that's probably her letting me know that she's here but I just wanted to show you a quick outfit of the evening. I've got no idea if I even put this dress on properly. It's lots and lots of layers of tulle. Luckily, I had a slip dress in my bag, just in case it was a bit sheer. And I'm very glad that I did because I think I could be revealing a little bit too much. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go and meet Freddie and I'll see you at the party. So we are in one mile of bone. There is a beautiful Victor and Rolf bar area. Look at this, the scent of Christmas. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I'm trying very hard not to step on my dress or set it on fire. My gosh, it looks so beautiful. Okay, we are here at the event. It's all very lovely, very pink, and it smells amazing in here. Madame is on a ladder, probably for the first time in her life. That's very mean of me. Um, I just said you're on a ladder for the first time in your life. Like, yeah. You're talking of oh, no, I think you're a ladder in my car. Yeah. I'm not going to be on a ladder. Yeah. No, when a giant was a 
love you. Um, so Freddie would like us to join her in a Christmas tree formation on the ladder. So let's give it a go. My darlings, a very quick good morning from a very puffy faced Josie. Um, heading to Pilates in a second. I've actually had to put a little bit of makeup on this morning, which I wouldn't normally do for Pilates because I feel like I might have had a reaction to something. Um, probably should therefore <laughs> leave my face makeup free, but I don't know. My skin has gone a little bit red and uncomfortable this morning. Anyway. Too much information. So today is Friday. Last night was great fun at the flower bomb party. A lovely dinner. Um, just great to catch up with lots of fabulous ladies. I forgot to fill you in on what happened before that as well. Went to dry by with Elizabeth Arden. They were celebrating their Christmas collection. And there are some epic deals coming up, by the way, on Elizabeth Arden from... When's this going out? from now actually so check out my um, Black Friday blog post <laughs> the Cyber Week blog post because there'll be all the deals there but they had a palm reader there a chap named Robin and um, he was discussing my past my present and my future based on my palms and oh my goodness it was so fascinating I have never had any kind of palm reading or psychic reading ever before and I've always been obviously I'm very much a believer in you know manifestation and I feel like I'm a fairly spiritual person but I don't know if I've ever really believed in like psychics and um palm reading that kind of thing in the past so I wanted to keep really tight-lipped and not give anything away and see what he could decipher from my palms and oh my goodness the accuracy the things that he told me that were firstly very true like deeply personal family things that he picked out from actually that I don't know if you can see but I've got quite a strong line here um, and he could tell something very precise and very accurate about my family from that and also told me a little bit about how that's going to evolve within the next like 20 30 40 years of my life he um, was talking about a really big life shift um, when I was 19, 20, and I was thinking, gosh, that was like when I moved into London. Obviously, a lot of people probably have big life shifts around that time, but he, um, and also he said I had a similar life shift a couple of years ago, which was obviously moving here. Weirdly, he was saying another big life shift like that, age 42. So I'm thinking, I hope that doesn't mean that we're moving house again, because I have no intention of, of leaving here. Um, he was able to tell that I, have something similar to a small holding, a small holding being a small farm. <laughs> so I was thinking, gosh, okay, kitchen garden. Um, he kept saying that he could see a four by four vehicle. <laughs> um, 
And I don't think he'd done any research, by the way, before anyone jumps to those conclusions, because there were just too many people there. And also, I was a very last minute addition to that event, so I wouldn't have had time. And I don't think they do that. But when I said I had a defender, he was like, oh yeah, okay, I can see, blah, blah, blah. And he even referred to a pair of Wellington boots that I have that are like a special warm pair of Wellington boots. My Holland Cooper fur-lined wellies. Just lots of lots of little things. He said that something significant was going to happen in Scotland. Um, but I don't have any plans to go to Scotland at the moment. But And as well as that, just lots of things from looking at my right hand in particular, the way that my pointing finger is a little bit separate. Um, this shows like love and trust and, and closeness. The fact that this is my pointing finger being separate shows like leadership. And it was great because actually overall he was like, I, I can see that you um, are a successful person and that anything really that you put your mind to you will succeed at and I thought that, that was quite nice. Obviously he'd probably been told by the Elizabeth Arden team to only say positive things because that could be a little bit scary but yeah he was great he was very very good. Um, I took his business card actually where did I put it? So if anybody <laughs> wants a palm reading he really was good. Robin Lone L-O-W-N, Robin Lone, that was him. So today, Friday, Charlie and I are heading to Dalesford now to do Chloe's 10 a.m. mat Pilates, so I do need to leave this very second, um, but we have got a lot of people arriving to the house to do some bits and bobs today, including Forest to Home, who are finally putting the shelves in my greenhouse. So this afternoon, it's a beautiful blue sky day, I'm finally gonna be styling up my greenhouse. I have got some foliage in there to to um, do a little bit of potentially at home foraged wreath making. So it's gonna be a lovely day, but for now, Dalesford, Pilates, and I'll catch you shortly. Darlings, before I head out, I've just had the most incredible delivery and um, confirmation of an insane discount code that I need to share with you. So this is my current body LED um, face mask, which you guys will know I'm obsessed with. I use it at least three times a week. It is the one that has got the red light um, diodes on the back here and as a little reminder what red light does in a nutshell is it basically tricks your, th your skin into thinking that it is damaged and so the skin goes into repair mode even though the skin is not actually damaged. So your skin basically starts working to improve the tone, the texture. Um, it's literally clinically proven to help for brighter, smoother and a more even complexion, which quite frankly is what we all want. So this is my version that I've had for a couple of years. Current Body have just confirmed via email that they're going to be doing a an epic um, bundle and discount code just for you guys. So. I thought I would share it with you. This is the bundle. This is the Current Body Skin Christmas Collection, including the silver mask, so a little bit more festive than the usual version. This is the silver version. Every time I ask my friends or family or even you guys what your top beauty gift on your wish list is, everybody always says this and I'm really not surprised. It is so effective. This one is by far, in my opinion, the best on the market. The fact that it comes with this um, battery, where is it? Little battery pack. What I do is I tuck this into the pocket of my dressing gown, I switch it on, and then I just walk around doing my pampering. So it's really easy to fit into my everyday routine. It's a really soft silicone mask, so it's very, very comfortable to wear. But um, this set, so you'll get the silver mask, you'll also get the Power of Four complementary serums, which I've got in this little pouch here. So the green tea serum is meant to actually improve the eth eth efficacy. I <laughs> think that's how you say it of the LED treatment you've got the hyaluronic acid serum obviously incredible for the hydration levels of your skin you should just use this all the time with or without the mask um, the glow serum which really helps to boost literally the healthiest glow for your skin also great under makeup and then I've actually not tried this one before but it is their daily restoring serum so you get this set um, of serums the silver carry case and the silver mask and the code Josie LED will get you 20% off this already very well priced bundle. And Current Body have also said that with the discount code Josie BF10, you can get 10% off the rest of the website. And they've got so many amazing things, whether it's hair rollers or Theragun massage gun, Sarah Chapman skincare, that's where I get my skinesis from. What else have they got? Um, 
like Clarisonics, epilators, hair removal devices. So that will work on top of their Black Friday sale. So I'm gonna leave this link down below. Oops, Daisy. I will probably have a little pamper with my LED mask later. If you are looking for something that you can do at home, which is anti-aging, fantastic for skin texture, for skin brightness. And I honestly think this is just the most fantastic gift idea, whether it's the mask by itself or the gift set. I think this is such an incredible gift or treat for yourself. And of course you can share it with your friends, you can share it with family and yeah. I talk about it so much, I think you guys know that I'm obsessed with it, so thought I would mention that because it is an incredible 20% off the gift set, which is absolutely amazing, thank you so much to Current Body, I will leave this and the discount codes linked down below, and without further ado, let's get to Pilates. but it's quite manic at the house and we've got lots of people there working today so we thought that we would have a little moment um, of calm after our Pilates. I've gone for a squash risotto. Charlie has got a lovely chicken with kale and what's this, a nice... Um... It's be uh, roasted root vegetables, I think. Oh, that looks delish. Can I try some? Yeah. Yamarillo, what a treat. Mm. Wow. Well. Just want to show you they've also got the teepee up super cozy they've got the fofa um what do you call it sheep rug blankets fires lit out there it's so cozy if you want to come for a nice festive glass of mulled wine the teepee will be up all winter today's specials all of which sound mouth-watering back home again now my darlings oh my goodness so we had a really gorgeous lunch um, we actually had a meeting at Dalesford as well after Chloe's Pilates class and I have never bumped into so many of you guys at Dalesford as we did today probably I always think that it happens more when I'm with Charlie because people hear him before they see him, before they see him. but I think we bumped into at least 10 people, four of which actually had sausage dogs and oh my goodness we just had some incredible conversations and I feel like if you want to ever bump into Charlie and I, just come to Dalesford because we're always there and it's always so lovely saying hello to so many amazing people when we go there. So if you're one of the people that I saw at Dalesford today, Anne, Angela, Winnie's mum and dad, oh my goodness, um, what was the other dog? Paddy, Paddy's mum and dad, I'm so sorry, sometimes I get so excited by the dog that I forget to ask your names and instead I just ask your dog's name so if that happened today and you're watching I'm so sorry but your dogs are absolutely gorgeous and yeah it's just put me in such a wonderful mood um something else that's put me in a wonderful mood is that the shelves in my greenhouse are nearly done I just had a little sneak peek and they are looking amazing so um I still have got my <laughs> Pilates outfit on my lovely green Adenola leggings, which I think I might be showing a discount for tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. But I know I did say that this week was gonna be daily vlogs, but I didn't really capture enough yesterday. So I just threw on um, this lovely Theory green knit over the top of my Pilates outfit for our meetings. And I wanted to make it look as I had made a little bit of an effort. So I threw some of my favorite Missima jewelry pieces into my bag for popping on and accessorizing myself after Pilates. These are pieces, definitely these, not 100% sure about this, but these are part of the icon range from Missima, which is just their most timeless and, as you might be able to guess from the name, iconic pieces from the collection. These earrings I've had for a very, very long time. My first Missima piece, gosh, that I probably got about seven or eight years ago now, was the Lucy Williams um, horn necklace, which I still absolutely love. The thing that I adore about Missima pieces is that they just don't ever, ever go out of style. Like whether I'm picking up something, I don't know if I showed you a close-up of this yesterday, this um, hand clasp pearly bracelet or bobbly hoop earrings or a pearl necklace the things that they 
the Missima pieces just never ever in my opinion go out of style so it's a really incredible investment as I mentioned yesterday they have got 30% off site-wide for cyber week this is like their most epic sale of the year it doesn't get any better than this so now is the time to pick up something from Missima if you have been lusting over their pieces for a little while you want to add some gorgeous classic bits to your jewelry wardrobe they have also once again partnered with tree sisters so for every order they'll be planting a tree which I think is really wonderful and it's just getting more and more important that we not only do things like that but also raise awareness for the importance of rewilding areas um, and and you know helping in nature wherever we can so I just absolutely love that Miss and are doing that in fact I was just chatting it to the guys um, that are putting the wood shelves in the greenhouse and they were saying how it's so important that we really look after the woodlands here in the UK especially because it's so important for the entire ecosystem the wildlife whether it's the deer or the foxes the badgers the bugs the beetles the bees so many animals and species rely on woodlands as their habitats um, and having conversations like that and then hearing that one of my favorite jewelry brands is working with a charity that plants trees is just full circle everything that I absolutely love to hear and love to support so all of my favorite Missima pieces will be linked in the description box down below if you are looking to treat yourself or a loved one to something absolutely gorgeous and timeless and elegant and wonderful whether you are literally wearing your Pilates outfit and a cozy knit or I just undid um, a beautiful dark brown theory dress that I'm probably going to wear later for dinner. We are going for dinner at um, the Fox at Oddington, Oddington which is Carol Bamford's um, new pub. Gosh, I feel like um, I, sh I should literally be a Bamford Dalesford ambassador the amount that I take you guys along to these places um, but we're heading there for dinner tonight and I was thinking this exact jewellery combination would be perfect for that dress too so I'll show you how how I style it up a little bit later okay so I have got a little bit of editing that I need to now crack on with um, and then once the chaps are finished doing the shelves in the greenhouse I'll take you in there it'll probably be dark by then but we can start to posh about and reposition all of my bits and bobs um, very very exciting so yes I'm gonna go and sit down with my boys do some editing I also have a shortbread cookie mix that um, I've been meaning to bake for a little while now and um, I think I'm gonna do that this afternoon too so yay what a lovely Friday okay so just before it gets dark I wanted to also show you my flowered wreath which is now here on the kitchen door we have got this door festively garnished before we've even got the front door festively garnished um, I did show you this <laughs> hello in the end of the last vlog but it's a, it is a little bit wonky but but most things in this house are Dickie. Yeah, it's like Dicky. Um, yes, I did show you at the end of the last vlog, but I know that not everybody watches to the end, so I thought I'll show you this one. So here it is. This is the wreath that I worked very, very closely with the flower team to design for this Christmas with so many lovely um, festive and Cotswoldian elements. So lots of things that we could forage from the hedgerows here in the Cotswolds and then some slightly more um, festive traditional elements as well. I didn't actually realise, but this is a lotus flower a dried lotus um, seed head and then we've of course got the pines we've got the cinnamon we've got the limes and I really wanted these round kind of slit limes too I think they look really lovely the more traditional clementine elements we've also got some willow in here to give you that little texture um, what else have we got obviously the spruce I just think it looks oh and the teasels I really wanted teasels in there as well to again give a nod to the Cotswold hedgerows so I really hope you love it I I absolutely love it. I think it is so beautiful, so festive and yet very traditional and um, classic as well. So if you would like to treat yourself to a Cotswold, I don't think we've named it yet, um, but I will leave the wreath linked down below in case you are looking for a festive addition for your home or um, a lovely gift for somebody. Right, now the exciting part. Let's go and check out the shelving. Oh, and the lighting has been put in today in the greenhouse. OK, 
Okay, let's take a step inside and dun dun dun. Oop, the final piece de resistance in the greenhouse is in. Obviously, we've got a floating shelf at the top there. We're going to add in some antique brass brackets. The original plan was to have the kind of tree stumps, but upon seeing how far apart the shelf and the um, bottom shelf are, I think an uh, an antique bracket would look better. So we have got the living edge wood shelving and is it beech or cedar? Cedar wood. Cedar. The reason they said cedar is the best mm -hmm. is because it has the least moisture. Okay. So like oak obviously has a lot of moisture in so it cracks and dries out a lot. Mm. And as a result in here you're going to have obviously the complete um, plethora of temperatures. Plethora. From the cold coming soon mm. to the, and then obviously the wet and then obviously the hot sun. Mm -hmm. So they said obviously it will silver up. Yes. It will crack a little bit but they said it's the most durable and it's the best wood for this sort of thing. Yeah. These so, are guys, is it forest at home isn't it? Forest to home. Forest at and home. yes at the moment it looks very new and very fresh but it won't be long as you saw from the outdoor furniture until it starts to have some real character. And on this side I could not be more thrilled with these. I just love how the chaps um, um, Sam and Steve who have been here today, they beautifully rounded off the edges and it just looks, you know, it's not an obtrusive shelf. This side is very subtle, so if we've got friends over and we want to have coffee or something in the middle here. By the way, side note, this is how ridiculous the UK Are weather is at the moment. I think I planted everything in here, crocus tulips and narcissi, and I think this might be the wow. um, narcissi, but my bulbs think it's spring, which is just mad. Um, these should not be coming out until like February, but that's how crazy the temperatures are. Yeah. Yeah, excuse this messy area outside. This is the wreath that I made with Aromatherapy Associates, so we need to get another attacher. Um, what do you call it? The door door hook, so you can hang this on the greenhouse door. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm going to order another one on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon always. Exciting. And so much you know, workspace, I'm so, so happy. The reason I came in here is I wanted to like, just get your thoughts. Mm -hmm. I think all this. So this is obviously... Can Martin do the hooks this afternoon? No, he won't let them do it now, so oh. they're gone. But, but oh, they've week, gone. Next week we'll get this sorted. Mm -hmm. Is that the one that you bought for the Arga? So we have got a longer one that mm -hmm. we bought for the Arga. So this is the debate. Which we're not going to be using on the Arga. So, because you're going to have the brackets, and this is obviously totally up to you, you might decide you don't want either. But I think there's something quite nice about being able to hang oh, definitely. your tools. Yeah, definitely. So there is a longer one. Yeah. So part of me thinks, and this is be, you know, you obviously want it central, maybe. Where, where's the longer one? Can you grab it? Yeah, I can yeah. get it quickly. Grab and it, And then obviously what's nice is obviously hang on these S-hooks. Mm -hmm. And um, I personally think you'd have your more pretty ones on display. Yeah. I don't know, do you reckon like this... Yeah, yeah. Like there, yeah. or... Because I think it is nice to know what temperature is. Mm -hmm. So can I not put anything on the top shelf until the um, brackets go on? It is secure, but he said just for safety. Secure? Don't, secure. Don't put anything on it now, okay. and then obviously we're going to get the brackets. I can order them today, and okay. then we'll have them here next week. And then Martin can do those. Super. And at the same time, you've left out the light as well. Ah, yes, where's the light switch? Uh, I'll go grab it for you. Oh, <laughs> it's not attached, so okay. No, because, so, so remember, there's no switch in here. Right, is, um, it, is it, um... it's, it's on the buttons, I'll show you. Okay, so this is a very, very temporary measure in the greenhouse, just as we're getting to those, as you can tell, those days where it's getting darker at like four o'clock in the afternoon, not ideal, um, and I still want to be able to potter about in here. So I will pop a picture on the screen here. Gosh, it's not so Oh, the lighting is very, very harsh. Um, I will pop a picture on the screen here of my dream um, lighting setup in here. I think I got that photo from Violet Grey Antiques. If any of you guys ever see a light, light fitting like this in any of your local antique shops, I can't believe how tired I look. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I have triple eye bags and it's distracting me. Um, it was a bit of a late one last night with flower bomb, so excuse, excuse my mousiness in this lighting. Um, yes, so if anyone ever sees a light fitting like that, please send it to me on Instagram. And if I don't see your message, please email it to me because I'm so desperate to find something like that because I feel like that would be the perfect lighting print here. An antique green, I'm not sure the technical name for this kind of light, but the guys, the electricians have been here today and they've done a wonderful fitting. So at least we have got some form of lighting in here. I can't get over how fabulous the shelves look from this angle. They really do look so beautiful. So I am very, very happy with how this is coming along. I can't wait to style it up a little bit more. 
Dexy, you're a I'm forager. Great to see you, Danny. Thank you, Dexy. So the idea is we'll have one more of these, which right. they're going to get for you, and that will live in here, okay. and that will allow you to control all the garden lights in here. Super. But number five, basically on off, mm -hmm. turns on our, all our garden lights or all of them the off. The on button makes this. the lights go on, on, <laughs> on. Number five. Number five. <laughs> if anyone knows where that joke is from, then comment down, down below because you're our kind of people. Obviously, we'll find the dream light eventually. But the fitting which Nicholson's have done, or it's Tim and um, Andy, who are like contractors for Nicholson's, if you see there's an oak dish they've done, mm -hmm. and then we've attached the general right antique brass thing, that will always remain. Right. And then we just decide what we want to hang from it. So the important You quite enjoy the, having a massive rod, don't you? Do you feel proud? Well, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you said it for me, mate. <laughs> hey. um, do you know what? There's even a scenario where. Um, you made one both of these. Oh, I couldn't handle two rods, mate. <laughs> That's too rude. That's too That's rude. That's too rude. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Um, that's awesome. So, down the right yeah, side. Yeah, I just because I think I'll you'd be surprised what you'd want to hang on this. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that trowel. Yeah. Well, here, stay there. Woo! Let's see what. Let's hang some things on your rod. You are my best friend. You know, every time I meet somebody at Dells with Dixie, they always say, is Dixie there? Because I'd really like to meet the king. You I are think the we can get Mars best sausage in the world. Because uh, so I'd like to hang up this one's the one that was made in the Cotswolds. Mm -hmm. So that can obviously get... Where's your pretty one? Here you go, these ones. That's gonna look so cool. I think that'll look cool. I think obviously we won't uh -huh. have string. Uh -huh. put, yeah, potentially. We need to work out where the brackets are gonna go. That's gonna look awesome. But I think that's that'll gonna look be really so cool. handy. I think that'll look really cool. And then we'll, I think what we should do mm -hmm. is get some nice leather or something to make a bit more of a permanent loop on these. Oh yeah. You know, something that's not string. So yeah. I think string looks oh, good. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Um, it's a greenhouse. True. Not a Dior see, boutique. Think a second one would be worthwhile. Well, I think let's start with with one. Yeah. Um. So that's got a hole in it, so that can be strung up. Well, I think the ones that would get strung up are your coppery ones, like this, right? These ones, because mm -hmm. they will match. And I would hang my scissors on a hook as well. Yeah. And by the way, I'm going to be sharing these on my stories over the weekend. Um, but if you're looking for a personalised gift for Christmas, oh, I could awesome. not recommend these any more highly. These are just from Amazon. I'll leave them linked down below. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, my dibber. I know it's not bronze, you're but a dibber. you're a dibber, mate. My Dalesford thingy that's got a hole in it. Oh yeah, look. Actually, they've got leather. They do as well. That does look really nice. These look cool there. Perfect. Yeah. And you've got loads of S hooks, so that'll look really Oh, cool. it's such a shame Martin's gone because it'd be so What's exciting that? to. Yeah, well, I know, but don't worry. Up. Um, Bam. It'll be worth the wait. So yeah. exciting. Because to be honest, I don't think we should put this up until we've got the brackets in. Ah. So we'll get the order brackets ordered. Next week we can get those in. Okay. And then once that's up, then end of next week you can start styling it up in here. That looks really good. He's having a real go on those plates. Do you know what he's doing really clever? Dexy. He's trying to knock the plate off so he can access the one underneath. He's you're a pure you genius. Mix. You're a pure genius, my boy. Look at the sun setting behind the crab apple arch. I still have not made my crab apple jam. I've been talking about making my crab apple jelly for a month now, really, haven't I? <laughs> it's one of those things. Even though there don't appear to be any apples left on my tree, there's still loads on the floor. Riddle me that. Oh, a very bleak and wintry kitchen garden, but I love that you can see the antique um, rhubarb forces a little bit more clearly now. I need to get my composting socks on, do a little bit of work down here. Gosh, oh, rainbow chard, still doing well. I was talking to one of the uh, flower bomb ladies last night about rainbow chard recipes. Lots of inspo. Oh my goodness me, oh, look at my turnips. Look at my turnips. Oh my gosh, can you see them? The giant ones in the back there. Oh my g 
giddy aunt Gertrude. Honestly, why does everything grow so ridiculously huge in this garden? <gasps> That's amazing. That's coming with me. Anyone's got any turnip recipes? Please let me know. Look at this. It's a turnip. You turnip. <laughs> Charlie's doing a little bit more styling. There you go, mate. I mean, it's oh. very fancy. I think these would look cool in here. If you're willing to let me have them. Yeah. Yeah? These two? Yeah, because these are spares. Spares? I really bought these for, um, that is safe for those. Yeah, I think they'll be nice. And then if we have dinner and stuff in here, I don't see they're not going to look both like that. I think they mm. really need one up there and one up there or something. I swear they're not the same brightness. Yeah. yeah. So I think one would almost live there and maybe one down here yeah. or something. Yeah, gosh, that's gorgeous. Um, but I think, for because obviously this is more of a practical space, you probably leave Store them, them up there. Up here with a couple of your gardening books, maybe. Mm. And then um, slide it up. I don't want it to look too living roomy in here. I want it no, to remain no. practical. 100%. Oh, it's, it's your space. I'm, I'm just sharing ideas that I'd have. Because I think, you know, I know what you mean, but I would think we want to eat. Okay, my darlings, I have to be honest, normally heading out for dinner, I would not take off my makeup and start again. I would actually just apply stuff on top. However, I just feel that my skin is in need of some goodness. I feel very much in need of um, goodness. I need goodness on my skin. So I am gonna have a very quick pamper. Got about half an hour until we need to go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start my skincare again, or start my makeup again rather. Um, and I thought to celebrate Cyber Week, let's use some of the very best deals that are going on this week. I did treat myself to a brand new miracle cleanser from Aurelia. I would say if you um, in the past were or maybe still are a huge fan of Lizelle's cleanse and polish. That for me was always like that was the that was the cleanser that changed the game for me. This is better. <laughs> this is better than Lizelle cleanse and polish. The same kind of um, like creamy feeling as you can see, super creamy, just gorgeously calming on the skin. And I feel like that's what my skin needs today. Honestly, I just put those video clips in my laptop of my skin in the greenhouse and. I just look like I've not slept in about five centuries. So this is one of those products that's just obviously very cleansing, but very calming. Helps with collagen, helps with hyaluronic acid within the skin, very reparative. And if you want a dewy, glowing complexion that just looks healthy, then this is, this is probably, this and um, my favorite serums are probably the most effective way of getting that dewy, healthy looking skin. And that is what I'm aiming for. So we're going to see if we can cheat it because I'm not going to lie, pretty tired and I've not drunk enough water today slash the last week. So, and probably quite a bit more alcohol and um, naughty. No, I hate saying naughty food. That doesn't give the right impression, does it? No food is naughty, but unhealthy, let's say traditionally unhealthy food has been consumed by me and a lot more sugar than usual so we're gonna see if i can cheat a healthy glow with my skincare this evening <laughs> my discount code for aurelia has escaped my memory um but i will leave it on the screen here and of course i hope you are checking the black friday blog post because we really do work so hard to put all the discount codes and all the very best sales on that one page i'll pop a little video clip of it on the screen here so you can see how gorgeous it is and how easy to use and how we really have done all of the hard work for you. You do get some of the cleansing cloths in your box with the Aurelia Miracle Cleanser. It goes without saying, but it also <laughs> removes makeup very, very well. And it's a lovely organic product too. British brand, so everything that I love. BF Josie 40 <laughs> I think that's the Aurelia discount code. So many discount codes going around in my head right now. It is crazy. I'd love for you guys to let me know down below your general thoughts and feelings on Cyber Week. Like, do you find it useful that there's all these discounts? Do you really kind of think about your Christmas gifting um, and make the most of the discount codes to pick up really lovely gifts for people for Christmas? Um, do you treat yourself during Cyber Week or do you find it just too much do you find it overwhelming i mean especially now obviously i'm very much aware of the financial crisis that is <laughs> looming um but therefore does it make you feel like 
good that you can get things that might have been on your wish list for a better price or do you feel like under pressure to buy stuff i'd love to know what you guys think i feel like i don't get i try not to get carried away but like like the Aurelia Miracle Cleanser, you know, if it's stuff that maybe was on my wish list already or stuff that I normally buy, then obviously I'm going to buy it when it's reduced. Um, but then maybe if it's something that I thought I could do with it, but I wasn't previously quite ready to make the investment, like maybe a new electric toothbrush. What's my discount code for Spotlight? 20% um, off the gift sets with code Josie and an additional 10% off the electric toothbrushes with code <laughs> Josie Sonic. Yeah, things like that. Maybe the sales make me more inclined to have a little bit of a splurge and treat myself a little bit more. Okay, um, I love to use my L'Occitane Immortel as my toner. What do we have going on with L'Occitane? So we've got Josie Xmas, I believe is the code for your free gift with purchase, which is the crackers with L'Occitane. And I'm pretty sure that they will have a Black Friday discount on their website. So have a little look at that. I love this product as well. If I'm finishing off a cleanse and you know if there might just be a tiny little bit of product left on your skin. It's also super reparative. I use this after every single cleanse. I've got my bottle up here and I've got my bottle in the bedroom and I've got my backup bottle in here as well so that I never run out. This is, and it has been for the last like eight months. Ever since, I think Charleston, I keep saying it, I keep mentioning it, but it's because Freddie had it with her and she reminded me, because I used, <laughs> I pinched hers while we were there. It reminded me how much I love it and I'm back to using it after every cleanse. Okay, time for LED. So I'm actually not going to use, um, the new silver one because I do have my own white one already and it seems a little bit excessive to open a new one um, when I'm going to do a giveaway of the silver one. So oh, I've just realised it's down in the bedroom. Come on, let's go downstairs. Oh, I see. Well, this is Charlie's side of the bed. Huh. Obviously last night I was at the Victor and Rolf um, flower bomb dinner and it looks like Charlie has been having a bit of a pamper with my face mask. Maybe I should get him one of the silver ones as his, as a Christmas gift. I've got you propped up on our bed frame so who knows how long the camera's actually going to stay there. Um, but in all seriousness, I'll show you in a second how I clean them. Um, you really don't need to buy one for your partner, you can absolutely share these masks. I just love how this one, this one is the absolute best because it's silicone and you've just got the little um, battery pack which you can tuck into your your wristband um, and then you can just walk around the house and do your, do whatever you need to do while you're wearing your crazy mask. Ah, perfect timing. Okay, so that has been on. Ooh. 15 minutes. I'm going to pop some of the serums on and then I will quickly show you how I clean it. Well, I might as well use some of my current body serums. Um, I, I always just create a potion of mixing and matching my serums. I, I read in a few places online actually that green tea can actually um, boost the effects of an LED treatment, whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I do find LED, um, green tea to be very, very calming on my skin. I've just mixed this in with the Hyaluronic Acid Serum because my skin is always in need of more moisture, especially at the end of the day. I personally don't think that one can overdo the Hyaluronic Acid and I always put the excess on the backs of my hands. <laughs> this is very annoying, but I've also left the spray downstairs that I normally use for cleaning my mask. So I've actually just popped some micellar water on a cleansing cloth and I'm just gonna use that to clean down the mask. Um, it's actually from Beauty Kitchen, the spray that I normally use, and it's a natural antiseptic, I think it's antiseptic, um, just like a lovely natural um, cleaning spray. And now that my skin has drunk in the hyaluronic acid, I'm going to apply the Current Body 
glow serum because that is what i need tonight if you're wondering why i'm suddenly rushing it's because i've realized that we really need to leave in about five minutes <laughs> if we want to get to our table reservation on time but these serums they do get drunk in by your skin immediately so i can just apply some nice light glowing makeup and we'll be good to go okay time to get changed <laughs> Okay, that was my quickest getting ready ever. I have just shoved on a jumper dress because I feel that if you just don't really know what to wear, then stick on a jumper dress. And I thought that the brown dress was just a little bit too smart. Sorry, I'm literally running, running, running now. Um, I've just added in a different pair of Missima earrings. Another favorite. They are so beautiful. Um, love the green color of these. Tom Ford Eben Fumé. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, got another Tom Ford in here. Let's mix it with Bois Morocco for a unique combination. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Okay, um, bag, water, phone, beauty pie, face mist for the ultimate finishing touch. Reese coat and my boots are from LK Bennett. They're very similar to my Valentino boots actually, but a fraction of the price. And they've got these cute little um, bows on the back of them. Can you see the little bows? Anyway, time to go. Here we go. Oops, we can't find our way in. It felt like that would Yeah. I bet that happens a lot. Are there any steps? No. So we're excited to try this out. It's only 15 minutes from home. my darlings we are back home again now that was such a lovely evening i thought i would fill you in on um how great it was so yes would most definitely definitely recommend a visit to the fox at oddington it is just a like two minute drive from dalesford so if you are in that neck of the woods then um yeah highly recommend all the food was amazing, quite a few um, friendly faces that we met in there, including a few of our favourite um, members of staff that had that we originally knew from Soho Farmhouse. They are now working at the Fox at Oddington, um, so it was nice to see lots of friendly faces. The cocktails were amazing, they have got lots of lovely local beers. Um, local gins, obviously amazing lovely organic food because it is run essentially by Dalesford so yeah it was just delicious. I had a steak, we had cheese souffle, um, we shared a sticky date pudding at the end which is essentially sticky toffee pudding and yeah it was delicious, a really really fun evening. Um, what else did I have to report to you? We had the tumble dryer going while we were out and I have just put on a very warm dressing gown. Honestly, putting on your dressing gown when it is still warm from the tumble dryer is quite possibly the best thing in the entire world. So I'm gonna go and take my makeup off, um, do my evening skincare routine. I've already done my LED. Um, for anyone, by the way, that um, struggles sleeping, these have literally been such a game changer for me. These are the Oto Sleep Drops. It is that lovely, I spoke about this brand a couple of weeks ago, or even last week, I don't know, I lose track. But just the absolute best quality CBD. And I, especially at this time of year, I feel like I always just have so many things going on in my head, like so much on my to-do list. And I would find myself, like last cyber week, I found found myself waking up at like two or three o'clock in the morning and needing to go downstairs and just get some work done because I was so anxious about how much was on my to-do list. But <laughs> whether it's a placebo or not, all I know is that since I started taking these sleep drops in the evening, I'm sleeping so much better. 
sorry my battery needed changing um gosh and i've just realized you can see all of our laundry baskets in the background it's been a big laundry day today um so yes my darlings i'm gonna end the vlog here i actually i am losing track of the vlogs because i'm filming obviously a vlog every day this week and i keep forgetting what is in what vlog so i have no idea if this is a long vlog or a short vlog who knows um <gasps> Oh no, I'm vlogging tomorrow. Oh my gosh. I just suddenly panicked that this was the last time I was going to be vlogging until Vlogmas because I think I've mentioned, but um, there's going to be a video every day this week. There's going to be um, a mega Black Friday video on Friday. So like the best of all of the sales combined into one. Um, and then Saturday is my small business Christmas gift guide. And then I'm taking a little bit of a break. It's not that long. How many days are there in November? 30 days, how's it time? April and yeah, literally a four day break and then we're into vlogmas so yes so much to look forward to but i really hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogs i hope there's not too many sometimes i worry at this time of year there's just like too much and there's so much content going out from so many people so if you are one of these wonderful people that actually watch all the way to the end um and yeah if you got to the end leave uh leave a white heart in your comment down below because I'd be so so impressed um, that you got to the end of the video but anyway I'm rambling now <laughs> so darlings thank you for watching I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow will be the last vlog before vlogmas yeah I think and don't forget to check out the cyberly blog post because I'm gonna go and do a little bit more work on it now so darlings good night I'll see you tomorrow Full stop. I believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful day